Hey guys, Joseph from Evolution Power Sports here. Today we're going to do a little race recap on the side-by-side -side blog Race Toba Race, as well as showcase some of the services that we offer in-house here at EVP. All right, so first off, set up on the car. It's basically an off-the-shelf Desert Storm 420 kit. This car doesn't have all the required components, so it's still on a stock block with the nine millimeter head studs, but it does have our stage two head. Still running stock cams on this one. Uh, CP pistons and rods. The only outlier here is the, uh, the MoTeC ECU, which obviously we can help you guys out with that too if you're interested. As far as the exhaust goes, we're really just trying to get the car as light as we could, so we're running our uh, Bazooka race pipe. So this car is running a TAP primary and STM secondary. Obviously there's a lot of companies that are selling TAP clutches, but no one does it like we do. A lot of generic setups uh, when it comes to ramps and things like that, but when you buy a TAP from EVP, we'll make sure that it is actually set up for what you're gonna be doing and it's not just an off the shelf TAP like what you guys will see elsewhere in the industry. It was tuned in-house on our dyno, then we took it over to our 300 foot sand pit to do all of the clutching on it, the suspension tuning, just really getting the car to work right and go down the track in 300 feet. This is not a race package. It's just a DS420 kit combined with some of our in-house knowledge uh, to get this thing to go as fast as possible with the power that it makes. We did some things to lighten it up, but if you guys are looking for a dedicated drag race package, we've got some way better kits out there than this thing and we can get your car going a lot faster. So as far as the race goes, um, unfortunately my draggy wasn't working inside the pit at the race, so I couldn't really get any data. Um, I made a couple test hits, made a few changes to tire pressure, things like that, but I basically had to wait for the timed racing to start so I could see what the car was doing. So once the actual outlaw race started, we went rounds going 4-0 after 4-0 made it all the way to the semifinals where we matched up against a Hayabusa Swap X3. Um, ended up taking third place in the whole race. And uh, my teammate Cody ended up taking fourth place with his new Paragon 46, so more info to come on that as well. Overall, it was a really good weekend. Uh, to go four O's back to back to back in a car that makes 359 wheel horsepower is extremely impressive. Uh, just goes to show that really it's it's not all about the horsepower number. Um, I know there's a lot of hype in the community about you know dyno numbers and this and that, but really at the end of the day it comes down to a lot more than that. It's the setup. You know, can you get the car to go down the track without wheeling? Can you um, get it to 60 foot well? It's it's a lot more than just the dyno number, uh, and that's one of the huge advantages to bringing your car here at EVP. Not only do we have the knowledge to make your car make killer power. We also know how to get it to go down the track, how to get it to run good times. We can help you guys out with all the clutching setup, suspension tuning, anything you need uh, with our 300 foot track that we have on site. Any of you guys are interested in building a drag car, um, definitely reach out to us, give us a call, and we can help you guys go even faster than this thing. <laughs> 